Today, I'm proud to introduce the New York Housing Compact, a groundbreaking strategy to catalyze housing development we need for our communities to thrive, for our economy to grow, and our state to prosper. The Compact pulls together a broad menu of policy changes that will collectively achieve the ambitious goal of 800,000 new homes built over the next decade. The Compact sets clear expectations for the growth we need, while at the same time giving localities the tools, the flexibility, and the resources to stimulate that growth. Every single locality across the state will have a target for building new homes. Upstate, the target is for the current housing stock to grow 1% every three years. Believe me, it's very manageable. Downstate, 3% every three years. Many localities are already hitting these goals, already hitting these goals. But many others are just falling a little bit short. And for our small towns and villages, just literally a handful of new homes will help us hit our statewide target. But the reality is, there are some communities that need to affect real change to build the homes we need. So it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. Local governments can meet these targets any way they want. They can shape building capacity. They can redevelop old malls, old buildings, office parks, incentivize new housing production, or just update the zoning rules to reduce the barriers. We know this is a big ask, and that's why localities will get help from the state. Good afternoon, friends. A very big and important day may be coming up very soon for millions of low-income households. Some lawmakers have agreed to allocate more money towards new stimulus programs. This includes a monthly stimulus check plan, and they may be worth $1,000. Friends, do me a favor, please, and make sure that you watch until the end of this video to hear about all of this information. Also, to say thank you for being here every day and being part of this community, I will be giving away two $75 Walmart gift cards every Friday. If you would like to enter this coming Friday's giveaway, all you have to do, friends, is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, click and like several of my videos, and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the more likely your chances, my friends, of winning these giveaways. A new bill could help about 900,000 residents of Nebraska, introduced by Senator Daniel Conrad. The Nebraska Child Tax Credit Bill would benefit about 81% of the state's children. Also known as Legislative Bill 294, it would provide families under a certain income level a refundable tax credit of up to $1,000 per child. Senator Daniel Conrad said last week, this can benefit rural Nebraskans, urban Nebraskans, and really most families with children that need that extra help to deal with inflation, to deal with educational and child care costs. I thought the time was right to introduce this in Nebraska. It is a proven strategy that has strong support across the state and across the political spectrum. So if the bill is approved, Nebraska would join states like New York, Massachusetts, Colorado, Maryland, New Mexico, California, Maine, Idaho, and Oklahoma in having a child tax credit. The proposal would allow a $1,000 credit per child to be claimed by families with incomes of up to $75,000 for a single filer, up to $92,500 for heads of household, and $122,500 for married couples who file jointly. Families making more than that could receive lower credits based on income. One state official has confirmed that there is no limitation on the number of children that are covered, and it kind of phases in and out with different income levels. Senator Conrad said the credit would put more money in the pockets of hardworking Nebraskans. She said that unlike other tax bills, this one considers middle-class families. This credit would be in addition to the federal child tax credit. In the 2022 tax year, it gives $2,000 for each qualifying child under the age of 17. However, friends, 
This bill still has to go through a hearing, which could be early next month before it could be debated on the floor. Many lawmakers across the country have agreed to help low income households financially by expanding their state child tax credits. New York Governor Kathy Hochul today announced a plan to make government work better for New Yorkers by transferring the way that New Yorkers access services and benefits from the state agencies. The state will implement significant technological enhancements to reduce bureaucratic hurdles and improve access to child care assistance, tax credits, and critical food benefits for women, infants, and children. New York proposes to help families by providing up to $1,500 per child. The federal child tax credit support will revert to its original 2021 amount. New York lawmakers, including Senator Andrew Gunardis, are behind the proposal. They want to establish the NYS Working Families Tax Credit. The money would go out as four separate payments every quarter if it becomes law. Families would receive a minimum of $500 and a maximum of $1,500 per child. The payments would cost the state $2 billion. New Mexico also joined many other states in enacting a new state child tax credit. The passed House Bill 163 created a new refundable tax credit worth $175 per child and eliminates the income tax on Social Security. The bill eliminates taxation on Social Security saving New Mexico seniors over $84 million this year. The bill also includes a cap for exemption eligibility of $100,000 for single filers and $150,000 for married couples who file jointly. Rhode Island Governor Dan McKay has also confirmed that the state has recently paid out $250 for child tax credits. The program delivered child tax rebates of $250 per child up to three children for Rhode Island residents making up to $100,000 for an individual and $200,000 for joint filers. The program is expected to support nearly 115,000 Rhode Island families across the state. Thank you so much, friends, for being here every day and watching the new videos I post. And thank you very, very much for being part of this community. I will be announcing two winners this Friday for the Walmart gift card giveaway. Please do enter the giveaways. All you have to do, friends, is click and like several of my videos. Then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. My friends, the more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed week.